Okay, so you're a little biased. You were saying that you're you're the uh, biggest Jack Johnson fan. Probably since the day I've been born, I have been. Uh, you know, probably that way forever. Now I gotta say, I, I was converted over to being a, a Jumpin' Jack fan. I, I used to boo you back in the day, way back. And then, uh, even though I never got to see you win, I, I never liked the guys that win all the time. But like in the past few years, I, I just can't believe you know you cemented your place in racing history. I think and. Uh, Oh, there's too many guys really in your league. What do you think of that? First of all, I got to ask you a question. Why'd you stop pulling me? You feel sorry for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing you uh, up in Walton. Actually, I think it was when Brett started closing in on yeah. your record at Walton was really what got it. I told him I was going to have some kids kick him in the shins when he broke the record. And, uh, I, I thought it might have been a good idea, actually. Mm -hmm. you know, a little attitude to go. I don't know, Brett. He's, he's hot shit right now. I bet he's got it going. Uh, Probably got the best repaired racetrack. He takes his serious a race car and uh, he's a tough guy. He's a cheater too, don't you think? Cheaters never win. Now, now come on, Brett. He's, he's got. You don't see that's all driving stuff, do you? Somebody told me a long time ago, it's cheaters never win and winners never cheat. So I don't play the cheat. So you never cheated? No. Never stretched the rules just a little bit. I don't believe so. No. Taking advantage of Lucia's bad eyesight? No, I'll never do that. Maybe Ronnie Company's bad eyesight, but never Lucia's. Well, what about you? You ever you ever cheat to win or? No, no, no. We weren't raised. I wasn't raised and born that way. Never, never. Have, never even thought of it. Never. Yeah, have I thought of it? Yeah. <laughs> never have. <laughs> Chicken down. We considered it. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how do you think you're doing this year? Terrible. Really. We haven't won a race yet. Well, he's won all the races. Well, that's because he's Jack Johnson and you're not. I, mean, I agree on. with you. I agree. You know, gotta learn their place, I tell you. But uh, you're one of the few guys that has followed their father's footsteps to at least a, a good degree. Uh, uh, his footsteps are too big to fill. Uh, yeah, a lot of guys that, that go out there as fathers that were very successful, they go out there and they just plain funk at it. Yeah, I don't been know. Pretty successful. Had a good teacher. Grew up around it. He made me uh, work hard at it, at it as a kid. So I think uh, that definitely paid off. Now, what about Pachetti being part of the? I mean, he's like a he's like attached himself oh. to your family. Yeah, Pachetti. Oh, he's like attached himself <laughs> to your family. And I heard he's going to change his name to Johnson. He, pr he probably should. It make him look and sound a little bit better. And uh, what kind of name is that, Pachetti? It sounds like something you'd have for dinner. Okay? Yeah, I agree. Oh, what do you think of having him at the Thanksgiving dinner table? Uh, it is good. You know what? Uh, he takes it real serious. He works hard at it. And uh, can I say, listen, his record speaks for itself. He runs real hard. He does real well in Lebanon Valley. So, I think they're cutting us off here. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you're you're not uh, going to be back to Malta or, at all this year, or just for special shows? You know, right now we don't have enough cars to run uh, three nights a week, and we had to give one night a week up. We decided right now at Malta be tonight because uh, we're not that good there right now and uh, we're racing at Bond and Utica Rome. We just don't have enough equipment to run three nights a week right now. The disrespectful punk Justin Ayers was telling me you're just too old to run that much. Yeah, uh, he might be right. I mean, they have drugs for that, don't they? I mean, Viagra or whatever for cars. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. Maybe that's the next step. Everybody told me. I took that little pull, uh, blue pill two weeks ago, but maybe I have to try it. I'll jump her. As always, it's, it's okay. a pleasure talking with you. You're definitely the, the legend of dirt racing, and it's My been pleasure. an honor to interview you anytime. Thank you. Okay, Thanks, guys. Bud.